Howdy ho neighbors, Rado Goji here and welcome to Squeeze the World Toys and today we're going to be continuing the Kamen Rider XA Level Up Rider series with entry number 9, Combat Gamer. Uh, Combat Gamer is based off of an in-the-universe shmup, uh, shoot em up vertical, or I don't know if it's vertical or horizontal, but it's a scrolling shooter called Jet Combat. And uh, as you can see, it's very much based off of a little plane. And this is the main level 3 upgrade for Kamen Rider Snipe. Um, which is good because Snipe is the only one so far who hasn't gotten an official upgrade yet. So without further ado, uh, let's open her up and see what's inside. I mean, you can probably pretty much tell straight away. It's of the same sort of construction uh, as the um, some of the other level 3s that we've seen so far. Namely, the, um, the Robot and Beat Gamers. Um, but there are going to be a few differences that I'll point out. So, obviously we take off a little cover the tray there. We have your uh, double gashet driver as per usual. We have these two mini guns and then we have the main body for the combat gamer. And to assemble it's pretty much as easy as uh, as the other ones. We fold out his feet and these will attach his arms. But uh, the mini guns here are well, they're a tad different in how they're executed in the overall um, way that they're that they're done. Um, rather than just kind of pegging in a peg into a hole, we do have pegs that go into holes, but they actually snap in. Because these, once they're in focus... Okay, there we go. Uh, basically, the way these work out is that they're meant to go on there and stay on there. Now, they, I have been playing around with them a bit, so putting them back into the uh, into the tray, they can come off easily enough as well if you want to, but the way that it's meant to be, they're meant to actually stay on there. And we will see why. Um, overall, this is actually, believe it or not, my favorite of the three, um, uh, of the level three things so far. Um... Especially of the of the, the three that are of the same sort of uh, of construction, um, maybe it's just the fact that uh, it's orange and orange is my favorite color, um, but it could also be the um, the jet aesthetic just really works well here. Um, and look, he's got little goggles and he looks like a he looks like a plane and it's cool and he looks at his big big old mouth and then go rar. But um, we're gonna have to go rar in a second here. Also, something I should point out is these wings do come off. They can come off rather easily, but they can just peg right in. They're one of those kind of breakaway um, parts that can uh, basically come out easily so that they're not broken if they're ever forced. So, let's bring in, basically, like I said before, uh, the only rider who hasn't had their, their Canon Level 3 upgrade in, uh, Common Rider Snipe here. So, obviously... We are going to have to do some stuff to snipe in order to be able to make them compatible, but it's going to be a little bit more involved um, than usual. Now, I'm going to take off the gamer driver as per usual, set that off to the side, and put on the dual gashet driver. We're going to take the scarf off, um, because as we've seen with the other... Um, when, when I've, I've briefly featured him in the other Level 3 videos... The scarf does get in the way of the um, of the shoulder slots that we'll need to equip the um, to equip him. But one other thing that we're going to do, and this is something that I didn't do in any of the other upgrades, we're going to take his little angst hair here, and this actually, I don't know if I showed that off before, but that can actually kind of twist up like that. So he kind of has this little tuft of hair going up in here now. And the reason I haven't done this before is because it would look kind of odd to have that bit of hair sticking out the top of the visor when it's supposed to be, like, covering his whole face like that. Whereas the visor here, it does make a little bit more sense, um, as we'll see. But, um, but yeah, uh, I just didn't do it for the other ones, but uh, I'm, I'm doing it here because that's officially how it goes. So, obviously, we're going to just transform this the way that we have before. And the visor here doesn't isn't like a whole, like whole head covering helmet or anything like that. Or isn't supposed to represent one. It's just like a visor, with a um, with the air mask there. But we're going to install this onto Snipe the same way that we've installed 
all of these. Although the something I have noticed that the hair can kind of get in the, the tuft of the tuft of hair um, on his head can kind of get in the way of progress. But um, it, I I also found that if you don't oh, there we go. I don't know. There was, nothing was just everything's just like not lining up properly. And the hair's getting stuck on things, but. It's also a pain in the butt to try to um, to try to get the hair in position after you've brought them up. So I found it's just easier to get that done. And also notice that we're not actually removing the arms. We're actually just keeping the guns where they are for now. Put that back in and just make sure everything is slotted, squeezed in good, and align the visor with the helmet if everything is okay. This might be in a little weird. Oh, no, no, there we go. All right, we're good now. This actually, this visor actually lines up a lot better on pretty much everyone's face, better than the other visors do. And um, to finish off, we're going to put his arms up like this, and then the guns actually hinge up. And then we just they're the little joysticks on there, so we can just put them into the hands. And this is Common Rider Snipe, Combat Shooting Gamer Level 3. And this is pretty awesome. I actually really like this a lot. Um, the, uh, the, the shooter aesthetic, or the, the, the scrolling shooter aesthetic, does go very well with like an FPS or uh, like a Contra style shooter aesthetic. Um, you have a lot of, uh, of the plane incorporation that look really nice. You have a little, little cockpit on his, on his chest. You got the wings. Um, and the, uh, the visor actually kind of connects well with, uh, aesthetically with his normal helmet. Cause like, he looks kind of like a, like an army helmet or whatever, but, uh, now it actually looks like an aviator's helmet or a, you know, a fighter pilot helmet. So that's really, really cool. I like this a lot. Um, just, it, it goes together really well. Um, so, of course, here's the point where, because this is compatible with other figures, I'm going to do some real quick transitions, show you what it looks like with the other figures. Be back in a sec. Kamen Rider X-Aid Combat Action Gamer Level 3. Um, this, this orange seems to go with everything because... Uh, I do like the way it goes with the um, with X Aid's pink here. Uh, yeah, really good here too. Can't complain. Yeah, I don't know why this thing has decided to give me all this trouble with the combinations and whatnot. Now it normally doesn't do that as much, but uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, Common Rider Brave uh, Combat Quest Gamer Level Three. Again, I really like this. I don't know why this but this orange just seems to go with everything plus the uh the visor looks really nice on brave's helmet for me um yeah it just looks really really cool i know you wouldn't think to uh mix an rpg guy with a shmup guy but then again you wouldn't think to mix an rpg guy with a music game either actually no i'll take that back theater rhythm final fantasy is a good game Either way, this looks really cool. And lastly, Genom Combat Action Gamer Level Three looks like uh, looks like X8 only black, but um, it does kind of look better with the black, I think, than with the pink. I mean, it really merged well with the pink, really well. But um, um, I don't know. It's just the uh, pu putting the orange with the black actually, I think, kind of looks better in my opinion. So, I think it looks better on Genom than it does on x -Aid. And there you have it. That is the, um, the Combat Gamer. All in all, this is definitely my favorite of, of the Level 3 upgrades. Uh, it looks cool on its own. It looks the best on all the figures. Um, I mean, it looks, it looks really good on all the figures, and I think it looks, I mean, whereas there were some that kind of looked iffy on, but better on some, this actually looks good on all of them, in my opinion. Um, well, I guess it depends on what video you look at, I suppose. But still, um, this is definitely my, my top out of all of them uh, so far, or at least as far as the uh, the upgrade guys go. Uh, I definitely recommend picking this up if you're looking at getting, you know, not even getting the entire series, but just getting some of them. 
this is definitely comes a high recommendation for me. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. So, what are we going to be looking at next time? Well, according to the box here, we are going to be focusing, hopefully, I don't know, maybe the maybe the non-focusing of that will give it a little bit of mystery. Who knows? Um, but um, it definitely looks different uh, in many ways, and uh, we are going to be going up from level 3 to level 5. Anyway, I've been Rado Goji, and I'll be here next time. Join me, won't you?